Hey guys, this is part two of my predictions for the 2019 Oscar nominations. Uh, we are now going to cover screenplay, acting, directing, and picture. We are going to start with best adapted screenplay. Now, I think our locks are, Can You Ever Forgive Me, Black Klansman, and If Beale Street Could Talk. Now, the last two have been super, super hard for me to choose. Um, a Star Is Born did get nominated at BAFTA and Critics' Choice, but the fact that it is the fourth um, version of this story, and in my personal opinion, I think the acting and the direction was what elevated the script. Um, I didn't think it was one of the best scripts of the year, even though Star Is Born is one of my favorites of 2018 but the passion is there and I think Bradley Cooper is getting so much respect being the actor director writer and producer of the film so I might change my mind in a minute um, my number fifth pick is leave no trace which um, it is one of the independent movies of 2018 that has not been showing up in a lot of the precursors, even though director Deborah Granick, um, she's, been, she's been probably winning the second most critics awards for best director, just behind Alfonso Cuaron, um, tying with Spike Lee. And she's a previous nominee for um, Winter's Bone. Um, so I think they're gonna wanna reward her again it's been a she rarely gets to direct she rarely makes a movie anymore and so yeah in a star is born place part, there's you've got black panther but i know they gave an adapted screenplay nomination to logan last year which was the first uh, comic book superhero movie to get nominated for a screenplay award and ba Black Panther is going to get nominated for best screenplay adapted screenplay I mean Black Panther is going to get nominated for best picture but I don't know if best adapted screenplay is on the cards I mean, who else do you throw in? Um, actually, you do have First Man, which could get in. No, actually, you know what? I'm sticking with Can You Ever Forgive Me, Black Klansman, If Beale Street Could Talk, A Star Is Born, and Leave No Trace. Moving on, best original screenplay, we have The Favourite, Green Book, Vice, and Roma. Those four all showed up at, right, at um, Golden Globes, Critics' Choice, and BAFTA. And in the fifth spot, we have First Reform, which surprisingly won this category at Critics' Choice. Um, it was written by Paul Schrader, who has never been nominated for an Oscar, which is a crime because he wrote Taxi Driver and Raging Bull and um, Bringing Out the Dead. Although he's been caught up in a bit of controversy lately after making comments defending Kevin Spacey. And... But... I think... If we're going to do the overdue Oscar um, argument, I think you can make the same for Paul Schrader. They won't give, they won't let him win because they probably don't want him to, but I think everybody wants him to have a Oscar nomination. He is a legend in cinema. If he doesn't get in, maybe they'll give it to eighth grade, which is, I've never seen, I haven't seen eighth grade yet, but it'll be my number six pick. Okay, now time for the acting. Supporting actress, we have 
Regina King, the Golden Globe and Critics' Choice winner, Amy Adams for Vice, Emma Stone and Rachel Weisz both for The Favourite, and in the sixth spot, I am going with Claire Foy for First Man because I think um, she's having a great year. She was in Unsane, um, the girl in the spider web. She just won her Emmy for The Crown and I think they are going to welcome her to the Oscar Club with her first nomination. Um, I'm not going to nominate Nicole Kidman for Boy Erase or or not even Emily Blunt for, um, what was it? A Quiet Place, even though she was one of my favourite performances of the year. But no, nah, to me, I think Foy is the fifth place. For Supporting Actress, we have, um, I am going with the SAG Five. Sam Elliott, A Star Is Born, Adam Driver for Black Klansman, Timothy Chalamet, A Be um, Beautiful Boy, uh, Richard E. Grant, for uh, Can You Ever Forgive Me? and Mahershala Ali for Green Book. Um, if any one of these five is vulnerable, maybe Chalamet, because I think he would be a Beautiful Boy's only nomination. Um, if he were to miss, and he, everyone loves Chalamet after Can You Ever Forgive Me? No, um, Call Me By Your Name last year. <sighs> if he were to miss out, who would he, who would get in? I don't think Michael B. Jordan from Black Panther's getting in. Um, I don't think Sam Rockwell from Vice is getting in too, even though he did show up at Golden Globe and BAFTA. Hmm. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm sticking with Chalamet. I'm sticking with those five. For Best Actress, we have Lady Gaga, A Star Is Born, Glenn Close for The Wife, and Melissa McCarthy for Can You Ever Forgive Me. Those were those three were our SAG, Golden Globe, Critics' Choice, and BAFTA nominees. Um, oh, and so was um, Olivia Colman for The Favourite. She's in my list. And for the fifth spot, this has been such a competitive year for Best Actress, but I'm going out on a limb and I'm choosing Yelitsa Aparicio for Roma. Um, now, I say that resistantly because she is not a professional actress. She was not an actress before Roma. And, but I think if you're loving Roma, um, I think all the credit goes to director Alfonso Cuaron, but she is the lead of that movie and she did show up at Critics' Choice and I do not see them going for someone like Nicole Kidman in Destroyer who a friend of mine told me that Destroyer is not even that good of a film. Um, Viola Davis for Widows, she only showed up at BAFTA and if she had showed up somewhere else, maybe, but yeah, Widows has not been showing up in a lot of places this season. Um, Rosamund Pike for A Private War, I haven't seen that movie. Maybe they'll want to give Rosamund her second nom after uh, Gone Girl. I don't think Emily Blunt is getting nominated for Mary Poppins Returns because it's not the kind of role I think the Academy goes for and even though they gave Julie Andrews the Oscar for the first Mary Poppins, but yeah, I think Blunt has a better chance for supporting in A Quiet Place than lead for Mary Poppins Returns. So yeah, um, my five is Gaga, Close, McCarthy, Coleman, and Aparicio. Uh, best Actor, I have um, the four who've showed up at all the precursors. Uh, Christian Bale, Vice, Bradley Cooper, A Star Is Born, Rami Malek, Bohemian Rhapsody, 
Viggo Mortensen for Green Book. Now, number five. I want to say, I want to say Ethan Hawke for First Reform because he has more critics' choice than everyone else. But the fact that he missed BAFTA, SAG, and Golden Globe nominations tells me... It's just so weird that he missed those precursors after winning all the Critics' Choice Award. Um, and you've also got John David Washington for Black Klansman who showed up at SAG and the Globes and he's in a film that could potentially win Best Picture. But at the same time, I don't think John David Washington was even that great in Black Klansman. He's, it's a great breakout role and he carries the film, but I didn't think it was the best performance, one of the best performances of the year. But he's also the son of Denzel Washington, so he's got um, that to his advantage. I am reluctantly going to go with John David Washington, but if Ethan Hawke gets nominated instead of Washington, I would be so happy. Okay, best director. We have Alfonso Cuaron for Roma, Bradley Cooper, A Star is Born, and Spike Lee for Black Klansman. Those were the three that showed up at DGA, Critics' Choice, and Globes, and BAFTA. My final two spots are Yorgos Lanthimos, who showed up at Critics' Choice and BAFTA, and it is such a, a big production of a film. They are going to want to nominate him. And even though Damien Chazelle for First Man only showed up at Critics' Choice, um, I think First Man is a big production that everyone, the Academy, is going to want to honour. Damien Chazelle, he is the golden boy in the director's branch after winning for La La Land. Um, they did give the BAFTA nomination to the director of Cold War, which I haven't seen. Um, but I don't know, I just don't feel that movie getting nominated. I don't feel comfortable saying Peter Farrelly for Green Book is going to get in for Best Director, even though he showed up at DGA and Globe in Critics' Choice. And did Peter Farrelly show up at BAFTA? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe you could have Adam McKay for Vice, but that movie is dividing audiences, so I think McKay will get in for Vice. At, in screenplay, but not for Best Director. So yeah, my five is Coron, Cooper, Lee, Lanthimos, and Chazelle. Finally, we have Best Picture. And I am going to pick nine films. We have Green Book, the PGA and Golden Globe winner, The Favourite, A Star is Born, Black Klansman, if Beale Street Could Talk, Roma. I have to go with Bohemian Rhapsody because it won the Golden Globe, shockingly, and got the PGA nomination, and the SAG Ensemble nomination. And my final two spots are Black Panther, which has surprisingly managed to get in Best Picture in so many places, despite the superhero bias at the Academy. And for that ninth spot, I am going with First Man. Everyone has been saying First Man could miss because it's been underperforming at the box office and it's been underperforming in a lot of places. You know, it did not get, it didn't, it underperformed at the Golden Globes. It got no nomination. Did it get anything at SAG? Did Claire Foy get nominated at the SAG Awards? 
No, it didn't. It didn't get any SAG nominations. So, yeah, there is a world where First Man could miss, but who does it lose to? Mary Poppins Returns? Actually, no, no. I think um, it's going to be First Man who gets in. And so those are my predictions and um, I'll be recording a live reaction video to the announcements of the nominations tomorrow night and I should have it uploaded on Wednesday 23rd in Australian Eastern Standard Time. Um, tell me what you think of my predictions. Uh, do you think I am spot on? Is there anything you disagree with? Do you actually have a no guts, no glory um, prediction? Do you have an actor who hasn't shown up anywhere all award season that could show up at, in the Oscar nominations? Kind of like um, uh, Leslie Manville last year for Phantom Fred. She only got the BAFTA nomination, but showed up at the Oscar nominations. Um, so yeah, tell me in the comments below, um, who do you think is getting in, uh, what did you disagree with, and um, I'll keep you posted on the nominations. Um, have yourself a good day, and thanks for watching.